I think if anything, I probably am a little bit of an impractical dreamer. You know, be really unrealistic about your dreams. And just be really realistic about your path. When I was a little girl growing up in Spokane, Washington, becoming an astronaut, like nobody did that. There was no, there was nobody that I could look to and say that person walked the path that I'm about to go walk. The first step I took out of Spokane was to go to West Point. That was a huge leap out of my comfort zone. As I was flying across the country for the first time ever going to New York City, I remember thinking like, if, if I had the opportunity to get off this plane and not do this, I probably would have taken it. But you push through that. I remember sitting on the airplane and flying down to NASA for an astronaut interview, and I had the exact same feeling as when I was flying to West Point as an 18-year-old kid, and it was like, maybe this is where I've reached too far. Maybe this is where I've pushed too far. This is where it all ends. What little girls from Spokane, Washington grew up to be an astronaut? I'm just not even gonna try. And so when I say I'm an impractical dreamer, I mean, I never listen to that part of me that says, hey, you're probably not gonna succeed at this. I always listen to the part that said, well, somebody's going to, maybe it's gonna be you. We have liftoff of Anne McLean blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. You know, I've always been so focused on my goals and I've always just sprinted toward those goals. And when I look back at all the achievements, the achievements aren't actually what I remember, it's the people that I did them with. The person that wins the rugby match is the one that, despite all of those hits, despite all of the contact, actually thinks 10 steps ahead, thinks five steps ahead as a team, and it's a strategy game. Now, working here as an astronaut, one of the toughest things that we do are spacewalks. You have got to stay so mentally tuned in, you have to know that you can push your body further than you think you can. And I'm holding on to a handrail on the International Space Station, and I'm looking out at the vastness of space, and I looked back and I felt like this was my planet. I was attached to it through gravity and I felt a closeness to the Earth, and I also realized how much more we have to explore. We haven't even started yet. Our destiny is always to go and see what's further and what's next. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more NASA content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our channel.